Okay, I'm just going to do a short clip on um, how to construct a chi-square table and what you could do potentially, okay? So here's an example from that project I've been using all through these clips. And this is the expected data. Sorry, the expected data. Let me find the... Um, is the um, Okay, sorry. Here's the observed data here. And you, you may be wondering how have... How has this unit arrived at these numbers 17, 7, 9, and 17? Okay, so remember these four numbers in these boxes, and then the totals afterwards, um, are used to work out chi squared. And so what this unit's done is basically you've got the life expectancy here, and anything that is less than the median value goes, sorry, less than or equal to goes on in the left hand side. Anything that's greater than the median life expectancy goes on the right hand side. And then he's used the median for the GDP to split it horizontally this way. So anything that is uh, less than or equal to the median goes in the top half. Anything that is greater than the median goes in the bottom half. So basically, uh, what he would have done, I assume, is, unless he's done, he used it, used Excel, is basically he must have gone down every single country and tally them off in the correct box. So that's I mean that's what I would do. So for example, Morocco is the first country. Life expectancy is 72. The GDP is 95. So let's go to the one here. So life expectancy is 72. Oh right, yeah. What's the median? Has he have they stated the median somewhere? I assume they would have done. Um, there's a median. Anywhere up here? Okay, they haven't stated the median. Right, well, okay, it doesn't matter. Well, whatever it is, okay? So, Morocco would be tallied off in one of these particular boxes, and maybe it's one of the ones that make up the number 17 in here. And you would literally go down the whole table of the data and you tick each one off in the correct cell. So if life expectancy is less than the median, it goes in one column. And if it is if GDP is less than or greater than the median, it goes in the other column. Now you don't have to use the median, right? Okay, you, let me stress that. You don't have to use the median. You can use whatever you want. So um I mean, it's it's best to quickly do a test on it, obviously. So basically, once you've done your chi-squared, so once you've got your table tallied up, you know, obviously you want to double-check it adds up to 50 in both directions and get someone else to tally it as well because your teacher will, like me, double-check that these numbers are right, okay? So you don't want to be making a mistake, uh, so get someone else to check it as well. Um, but, you know, run it through your calculator, see if you're happy with it. But you don't have to use the median. So, for example, um, I mean, most people do use the median. Let me find the one. This person's used the mean here it's to split it horizontally this way. And they've used uh, three different year groups to split it vertically. So they've got a, a, two, a three by two table. They've got three... Sorry, they've got a two by three. They've got two rows and three columns. And, I mean, it doesn't matter whether you use the median or you use the mean. It doesn't make any difference, okay? Um, you can even try a mixture, really. I mean, I don't think there's a hard and fast rule. I'm not a statistician, so I don't know what the best thing to do is. Google it if you're not sure. But um, So, basically, you would set your criteria up. You would go down each column of data, and you would tally it into the correct cell and obviously you'd get someone to check it. So that's how you split the data up. Now it's up to you entirely what you do. I think that this person's used the mean, some people use the median, some people have used... I mean some people have, uh, for example, they've had um, male and female. So they've had one column for male, one column for female, and they've had some numerical value and split it up that way. So it's up to you. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It depends on your data, your test. So that's how you split it up, okay? But get someone to double check it, you know, get one of your friends or your mum and dad 
to just tally it, make sure that it comes back to the same result. And obviously, the big thing to check is that it comes back to the number of sh number of pieces of data you've got. So this person had 50 pieces of data, and in both directions, they add up to 50. So you know you've done it right. Okay. So that's, so that's how you you construct a two-way table. Either use the median, or use something else. Okay. I'll stop it there.